Hey everybody, this morning I wanted to do a quick little video about riced vegetables. Um, I was reading um, an internet article a few days, a few weeks ago, and it was talking about how the supermarket chain Trader Joe's actually had to ration out <laughs> some of their riced vegetables in certain markets, not everywhere but in certain markets. And I actually thought it was kind of funny that uh, that it was a real story. So it got me to thinking about, you know, the fact that some people actually know what rice vegetables are and they're highly prized and they're going to the store and they're clamoring for them and they're fighting over them like it's a sale. <laughs> um, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people, not everyone knows what rice vegetables are. So I wanted to do a quick little video just to give you guys a heads up on what it is and whether or not you should be eating it. So we all know what rice is. Rice has been around forever. Um, I'm from New Orleans, as many of you all know, and rice is a staple. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, desserts. <laughs> we eat a lot of rice. But we also know that in eating rice, especially when you're talking about white rice, um, it's highly processed. There's not very much fiber in there. There's not very much uh, nutritional value. There's not um, as much of the good fat that's in there as if you get a whole rice. And because so many people eat rice and they eat it for so many meals and in so many different ways, along with other foods, of course, um, there's been a big push for people to not eat as much rice, um, especially white rice, because it's a, a higher carbohydrate food. It's a very high carbohydrate food and a low, low nutritional value food. And that can actually um, help progress somebody into being overweight, being obese, uh, diabetes, metabolic syndrome. Um, blood sugar dysregulation in PCOS and all of these other things. So someone, some brilliant person out there decided to come up with a an, an alternative to that. Uh, a few years ago, one of my friends and colleagues actually told me about uh, riced cauliflower and a substitute for mashed potatoes. I'll talk about that in another video. But basically what she said was you can use cauliflower in the place of rice and mashed potatoes. So rice to cauliflower and mashed cauliflower, and it tastes neutral enough that it can go with any meal and it can be used in the place of rice. And so uh, it took me some years, I um, have to admit it took me <laughs> some years to actually get on board and try it because it sounded like a lot of work and who wants to know, you know, that doesn't taste well, I'm pretty sure, and blah, cauliflower, why would I put cauliflower with my beans? All those things are going through my mind. Fast forward a few years, I decided to go ahead and try it. I had a, I bought a head of cauliflower, and I actually had, a, I think it's called a mandala. What is it called? The, you guys know what I'm talking about. The things that make the shredded carrots and the, and the shredded cheese. So I took one of those and I actually just shredded my cauliflower. And lo and behold, it looked like little rice. I thought it was amazing. And you know, it doesn't take very long to cook and you just eat it just like rice. And the beauty of it is that you have all the nutrition of a vegetable, of a fresh vegetable, um, without having the high, high starch, high carbohydrate count. And again, you have all that nutritional goodness. And so um, I didn't eat it very much. I have to admit that I don't eat it very much because it is more labor intensive. And if you're not willing to sit there and take a couple minutes, it really does not take very long to actually just grate the vegetable, then you go without. And so that's what I had done. I was in the supermarket recently and um, it was just a regular chain grocery store, the neighborhood grocery store. It wasn't like a, um, a health food store or um, anything like that. It was just a regular chain grocery store here in Illinois. And um, I happened to be in the frozen food area pushing my cart, just paying attention to seeing what's new. And I walked and I had to back up a little bit because I saw riced vegetables in the frozen food section. Now one, I thought it was great. One, because a company 
decided to get on the bandwagon and actually produce a product that many people wanted. So, um, yeah, they produced riced vegetables. And so I brought a bag home and I cooked it very simple to cook. And I had it for lunch. I brought it to school with me, brought it to work with me, and was just able to eat it um, for my lunch at work. And it was great. And so I just wanted to actually let you know that, you know, riced vegetables are a thing. <laughs> they are a good thing. Um, if you are able to go to your grocery store and look in the frozen food section, look for riced vegetables. Now, it does not have to be, again, a health food store because one of the larger vegetable uh, produce vendors have started to create it. This product actually came from Green Giant. I'm not saying that I'm promoting Green Giant, but I am promoting riced vegetables. Get them however you can. Um, and so they actually just went online today and found out that they have uh, several different ones. They have the rice cauliflower, which look mo which looks most like um, rice, regular rice, because it is white and they are really small. So that um, is is if you want a rice substitute for your family that looks like rice, like rice, that'll be a great one. Um, the two that I happen to buy, the first one that I bought, um, that I actually just cooked the rest of today. Can you guys see that? Is cauliflower and broccoli, and so you can see that it's um, it looks like a big bowl of white and green rice, right? And so cauliflower, broccoli. One of the things that I thought was great about it. Um, is this when I normally when I go to the supermarket I've, I often look at the labels so you know there's like three different parts of a, a label and I can do a video about how to read labels later if you want so if you want me to go ahead and put um, some comments down there and let me know and then I'll do that video for you guys but this front part of the label it just tells you what it is and it tries to get you to buy it that's what it's for but we know about the back of the label. We know about the nutritional facts, and that's what people usually go to. But the part that I normally look at is the ingredients. And in this particular product, it says ingredients, cauliflower, and broccoli. That's it. That's pretty impressive because a lot of products will have uh, preservatives, they'll have sauces, they'll have salt, they'll have... Um, all kind of food colorings and dye and this one does not so it's not saying that it's organic it's not saying that it's you know any of those other buzzwords that we like to hear but there is no sauce and no seasoning which means that it's just purely uh, what's on here so it's just purely cauliflower and broccoli and it's gluten-free again that's a whole nother video but if you are gluten-free eat your veggies and uh, and that'll be helpful. Another one that they actually offered was let me see, cauliflower and sweet potato. Oh my goodness, isn't that pretty? I thought that was so beautiful. That's, <laughs> that's actually why I bought it because it was pretty. <laughs> Don't judge me. So uh, this one is pure cauliflower and sweet potato. Uh, again, riced. The only ingredients on the label um, is cauliflower. And sweet potato beautiful there's no sauce there's no seasoning gluten-free eh, gluten-free and you know there is so let me show you what it looks like just so that you can actually see a riced vegetable hopefully you can see it. that okay so here let me do that let me do it this way so that's a riced vegetable it's a little bitty uh, little bitty piece of cauliflower this one is and this is a little bitty you know a couple of pieces of can you see that yeah, I'm trying to find the camera all right <laughs> couple pieces of riced um, sweet potato so that's what it looks like uh, Green Giant also has um, the medley mix so they have the rice cauliflower with rice carrots and some green peas so if you like that type of mix you know go out and get it um obviously you can go to your health food stores and buy them so obviously trader joe's has them since that was the first article that i read and i'm pretty sure your other stores will have them as well so 
Um, if you feeling adventurous and you need to get away from the high carbohydrate foods, consider going out to the store into the freezer section and getting riced vegetables. If you decide you don't want to pay for the convenience of having it already riced, just go ahead and go to the store, get a sweet potato, get a, um, uh, a head of cauliflower, a head of broccoli, and just shred it yourself. It does not take long. I was being lazy. <laughs> I'm having to admit that. I was being lazy, but it does not take long. So um, go out and, you know, get you some rice vegetables and eat well and tell me what you think. Um, I am actually having today, I just finished the rest of this packet. I'm having this with my um, with my patty and um, and some hummus. So that's my meal for today. Uh, again, let me know what you think. Uh, hi, Dr. Afshar. <laughs> um, let me know what you think. Uh, again, if you want me to do those videos, go ahead and post some comments below, and we will talk soon. Take care. Bye.